Okinawa reacts to Operation Desert Storm. More on that and other stories tonight on FBN News. From military public affairs offices and AFRTS news sources, this is FBN News for Okinawa. Good evening. Beginning at about 9 yesterday morning, as the first bombs were dropped on Baghdad by Allied forces, we broke away from regular programming to bring you live coverage of the events in the Middle East. We will continue to bring you this coverage as it becomes available to us, so expect some program schedule changes as we do. Operation Desert Storm began swiftly, and military bases here have stepped up security in response to that. U.S. Forces Japan officials say that American forces in Japan aren't experiencing the same threat concerns that are being experienced in Europe or the Middle East. Nevertheless, military bases on Okinawa aren't taking any chances. With Operation Desert Storm in full swing, and as the likelihood of terrorism increases, military bases on Okinawa have stepped up security measures. Behind me is Gate 5 at Kadena Air Base. The gate has remained closed since early this morning. Even though Japan has one of the lowest threat levels in the world, military personnel on the island should remain vigilant both on and off base during the crisis. All people entering bases can expect increased security checks at the gates, including possible searches of vehicles and packages. Marine Corporal Mickey McBride, Kadena Air Base. Demonstrations against U.S. actions and policies may occur in Japan. Any suspicious or unusual activity should be reported immediately to military or security police. FEN radio and television will report any changes to security precaution measures on Okinawa. The Gulf War has put a lot of miles between husbands and wives and children. That distance seems even farther when families are left overseas while the military member goes away. Recently, it was announced that family members can travel back to the United States on a space-available basis via MAC flight if the family member is deployed in support of Operation Desert Storm. FEN spoke with the NCOIC of the Passenger Service Center at Kadena yesterday about this special service. What has happened is that the... The sounds of sirens could be heard north of Kadena Air Base today, but the warnings were just part of a test of a flood alarm system. Gunnery Sergeant Rick Randall explains. Rick Randall. Testing is expected to continue tomorrow. Again, if you hear the sirens, there's no need for alarm. Still to come tonight, a look at the HAS team and what it can do for parents, and we'll continue our series on Marine Boot Camp with a look at weapons training, so stay with us. Air Force Sergeant Gordy Briette is here with the weather forecast. I think I saw some blue skies today. And a ray or two of sunshine. Mm -hmm. The last few days of cloudy skies and occasional light rain have given way to some... Thank you, Sergeant Briette. A special group for parents or spouses of a handicapped family member has formed here. The Handicapable Advocacy Support Team hopes to provide a positive atmosphere for these families and open up the lines of communication to military and educational leaders. The HAS team meets again next month on February 22nd at 7 p.m. in the Social Actions Building T617 on Kadena Air Base. Call Sergeant Sims at 634-0616 to find out more. As Americans go to war, their extensive training and all their preparations are called to action, but it all begins in boot camp. As we continue our special series, reporter Alex Payne attends a Marine boot camp to see how they're preparing young Americans for combat. Throw it out! Throw it out! Let's go! That's it for FEN News. Please stay tuned for CNN's continuing coverage of Operation Desert Storm. I'm Corporal Adana Moore. Have a good evening.